If I were stranded on a desert island, the first lady that I would want with me would probably be Edith Roosevelt. Let's think about this. Edith Roosevelt had to keep track of six children and their pets and Theodore Roosevelt. Now, not to mention keeping track of all these people and moving them into the White House, the one of the largest families to move in and oversee the renovations of the White House, which still exist today, to expand for this growing family. And they had uh, parrots and ponies and, and, and dogs and hamsters and guinea pigs, just littered with, with animals all over the White House and kids running in and out climbing trees. Teddy Roosevelt going on safaris and bringing back massive trophies and all the stuff that went along with this very vivacious family, this first family in the White House. After Theodore's gone, she goes out on adventures of her own. She's seen riding a camel through Egypt. She goes on expedition. When Teddy Roosevelt does his excursion down the Amazon, she goes down to South America too and doesn't go down the Amazon with Teddy, but she's down there in, in relatively uncharted territory. Uh, she's, she's a tough lady and, and I think she'd come in very handy on a desert island.